YouTube. I'm coming back with you to you with a little something different again. Um, I told you I was trying to do some of my card reviews and stuff. So this time I'm gonna do the Sher the Shaman Tarot deck that we picked up this week. I picked it up. I like having a few special to my husband, even though we both read the whole collection. There's some stuff he can relate to, and he has Native American roots. So I figured this would fit and. At first, even him, it will be up here to be a harder deck if you just look at the pictures and not read up on it yet when you're trying to read them because of the no numbers. He even thought, he even told me, he said, if you can understand them, let me know. And I started, and I actually found it the opposite. These are good, this is a really easy deck, I would say, for a beginner because all decks you're going to have the majors named. Like, you know, each card's going to have its own names it, besides two of ones, two of bells, or whatever, two of pentacles, depends on what deck you're working with. But in addition to the um, numbers, like the two of drums or whatever, like if I pull one, this is, well, that's a night card there. They don't have any. They just have the symbols. But like, find something that's not a court card, like the three of stones, um... When it's numbered, if you look it up, not only does it have the number that you're going to look for, but it also names each individual cards like this. Three of stones means, yeah, concentration of power. That's the actual second name of it after, you know, just the three of stones. And I like this card. It talks about diversity and extreme diversity. If you look the picture, you can see that you got the diversity of three different cultures here. Um, you could tell the way the people address they come from three different, I guess, spiritual religious backgrounds. And then if you see the extreme diversity, um, if you're like me, you look at all beings as having a spirit. You know, you got the animal as the fourth, I guess, the fourth one in working in this, whatever they're, they've got going on here. They got the animal, you know, as the fourth. So that's, you could look at that and you know, see the extreme diversity or just see the regular diversity, you know, three different people of different cultures. But. I just thought that was really cool. All the cards are really busy like this. You, know, you could look into them, and after you read the meaning, you could pick up just little stuff that points towards the meaning. But I have them separated now, and the majors, the names are different, like I said. Um, I would say for a beginner tarot anymore, not really. Um, if you don't choose the traditional deck as being one of your decks, is... I pretty much the na traditional names for the major cards. I wouldn't really have a set guideline to go by because everyone's going to be different. I never learned by the traditional, so I don't go the by the traditional itself. I know normally this is the fool, and in this book or in this deck, it means it's the sacred shaman. So you have some differences. Some may be the same. I don't know if any of these are the same. Maybe the love card. But that's about it, and I think it takes the place of the lovers, but just wanted to share that and say that I do recommend it, like if somebody is new to it, because of the way it illustrates, and it helps you click on to remember what each card means, it having a name for each card, like I pointed out, but just wanted to share that, and thanks for watching, and happy couponing.